This is Lucy. <laughs> and uh, she's she's our first dog as a couple. I, I grew up with some dogs. But Samantha had never had a dog, and we'd never had one together. So we adopted her from the local shelter. And she is <laughs> an absolute ham for the camera, man. She loves the camera. And she's a superstar in general, right, Lucy? Yeah, 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 yeah. And she loves to tug. Lucy Bell. Oh, yes. And tugging puts Lefty on red alert. And Penny will take any excuse to bark, pretty much. You know. She's a team player when it comes to barking. Oh, I can't beat her. She's just too tough. She's too tough and she knows it. Ray right, Penny. Hey, come. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Penny, let's give everybody a nice look at your face. Come on. Oh, oh, are you happy, girl? Are you happy? Did you give me a kiss? That's a good girl. Yeah, she's starting to, she's starting to kind of socialize and become, you know, she, when we first got her, she ate garbage, she ate cat poop, <laughs> she ate um, dirt, she preferred to be in a dirt hole uh, as opposed to just a, a regular bed. So a dog that clearly had lived on its own and, you know, total subsistence living for quite some time, highly adapted, which is just congratulations to her for making it as a three-legged dog, that's tough. Um, but she's getting better, you know, she doesn't read the trash as often, um, and she, lo she loves her bed. She loves her, you know, both her human bed and her dog bed. Uh, less apt to, to get into the, you know, digging a big dirt hole and laying in it, uh, which she used to do to stay cool. And um, she's coming along. Uh, she's she's exceeding my expectations because I do believe she's got some brain trauma. Her, uh, in addition to her her limb being completely just crippled and and lifeless, um, she's missing all the teeth on that side of her head. So we're guessing there was a car impact, and uh, that that would certainly um, uh, cause some some brain damage, uh, brain trauma to. Uh, affect her personality and and just her her you know normal dog behavior which we see that uh, she she doesn't really respond to leadership um, if you call her name <laughs> she might come she might run right by you um, we definitely can't you know up until Penny we didn't need a fence here because uh, Lefty and Lucy wouldn't really roam. You know, they would stay nearby, we could walk around through the property, and they would just follow us around. And Penny, A, she loves to run. Absolutely just loves running. B, she doesn't listen when she doesn't want to listen. So, if she gets out the door, off leash, um, and I've witnessed this with my own eyes, she goes into the street and just directly into traffic. I, I mean... Not only is that dangerous for her, but clearly uh, a huge road hazard. So um, part that, this is a huge part of the reason why we built this this uh, this run here, which ultimately led to the uh, the rescue idea. Um, but uh, you know, she's 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 so she's got some cognitive limitations in terms of just dogs are very. Uh, very much, very chain of command, very kind of, they have a very structured way of interacting with each other, and she, she doesn't adhere to any of it, um, which originally presented Lucy with tremendous frustration as the leader, you know, 
as the commander in chief of the situation. Uh, but eventually, she figured out how to how to uh, manage the situation, and and they've developed a, a good friendship. Um, Lefty. Uh, Always the middle child, um, you know, nervous kind of guy, needs a job, um, likes to, tr you know, he wants to, he wants to herd his, his sheep or his cattle or something uh, all the time. He is a sweet, ultimately amazing. When he's on his own with a human, he is a superstar. He, I, he's fantastic with crowds, he's fantastic with other dogs on his own. As part of a pack, he's, he's just, he just flounders, but his life is still pretty incredible uh, compared to, you know, the alternative. I mean, we're happy to have all three of these guys as a pack. It does require a little work, a little patience, um, you know, integrating dogs. But um, I tell you what, it's very rewarding. And uh, I do believe that two dogs are easier than one um, because they do... They do bond and keep each other company when you know when no when humans aren't around, so it's it's a little bit less stressful for them. Three dogs is definitely a little harder. Um, it requires a little bit more skill, a little bit more training, but uh, uh, we're, we're 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 adjusting. It's it's you know we wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for the fact that we had a third adopted pet. So um, we're pretty excited. We're pretty proud. And uh, we love these guys, so uh, uh, it's all good. <laughs>